morning everyone it's Rachel here and we are going to do the 100 day project but it's also with a difference because it's also part of the collaboration with Breach and Bella and I'll link all the channels that are participating in this collaboration mine is day number 22 in the collaboration but it's also going to be my 100 day project because I probably won't get two videos done today and the collaboration is a how-to botanical so um, what I thought I would do is mark making. So, you know, creating some some sort of collage fodder with mark making. So um, I just want to show you here where you can, how you can add it into a botanical journal. So we've done this um, last year. This was my July collaboration with Meg Journals. But these are all mark making things that I've done. And, um, and I love using them here and I tend to hoard them so um, it's always nice to have more created so that way you've got a like a little library of it that you can add to your journals so I thought we'd do some mark making today now maybe toying and froing a little bit I've got some uh, all my Stamperia ones here um, but I may bend down and grab some Arteza I might grab some um, alcohol markers and that sort of thing and we're going to just play around and do some mark making. So I hope you'll join me and have some fun with it. I have just a piece of paper to protect my mat. I've also got a piece of paper here which I might put on the other side. I'm a bit squished. Um, that I just clean my brush off on. I've got my water. I've got some paper towel because I can't find. I do have a towel that I use to dry my brush off but I can't find it. And Oh, and my palette. So I'll finish off this little portion here. I have no room for my palette. Where am I going to put it? I'll have to put it over here. This is not good. The palette will go over there. Put those up there. Put that there. That's what I'm going to have to do. And I'm a lefty. I need more space on my left, but I don't. And I can't go up here because that's where I know I'll be in the centre. So we just grab any pieces of paper. So this is a, some book pages from the 1800s. One of my favourite colours to do is um, is navy. So let's. I've got this very dark navy here. Sometimes I, what I do is I also just use some white gesso. You could use some clear gesso if you didn't want to lighten the colour. Um, just some some gesso in if you want to just um, change the texture of. Oh, it would help if you if it's new that you take the thing off because the paint's not going to come out. It's just not happening. Put that over there. Right, so we're going to get messy. I couldn't find my, my bodgy jumper to put on over my good one, so hopefully I don't get paint on myself. And we're just going to do mark making. So you can use all kinds of tools. Like I'm not going to do any flicking, but you could use a toothbrush. Um, oh, this is good. Let's use this. This is just the inside of something. I just smush it around in the paint. Let's bring the paint over so you can see the smushing. And we're just going to do this. And this is keep, you know, those um, papers from, what do I want to say, from the 1900s, because this is a good thing to use them for. Maybe we'll do it a bit more random, not so much in rows. It's just relaxing. You could sit downstairs at the kitchen table, obviously protect it, and um, do your mark making. Got an itch. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. This is so much fun. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time and haven't gotten onto it. And I think it's, you know, the marks are fun, but it's also a little bit about, you know, the colours that you choose are what make it really great too. I'm running out of that one. I'll do the, I'll complete the whole page because um, it's very useful. We'll do a bit more because we'll do some other mark making with that colour. And 
and quite often you know it's very nice to have these geometrical sort of shapes and you can use um, acrylics you can use you know a gouache you could use um, you know your please don't get paint on your top Rachel I should probably should put a bib on I've got another piece of paper let me put just put a bib over here over my protruding belly because I just know I'm going to get paint on myself. Um, what else can we, you can? I mean, you can use those. I don't know. Can't, having a blank, you know, the crayons. The you can use your Derwent ink tents. You can use the woody pencils by Stabilo. Um, anything, anything that can make a mark. Okay, so that one's done. We'll just put that aside. I've got a nice thing of circles. Put that aside to dry and clean it off. Oh, that's nice, spinning it around. Because this will become something that I will use. So just clean it. I should be cleaning it off on my other one, but it's, it's actually under my... Um, Okay, so we'll put that over there, and we're just going to grab, I've got some vellum, I've got some tissue paper, we can do straw paper is always nice, let's, I'm just going to tear a piece of this off, so we do a small, you can do smaller amounts, you don't have to do big long ones, just tear this off, and we'll do something on there. I'll grab a brush, maybe a big brush. Just get some water on there, get your paint flowing. I haven't put any, um, any, um, what's it called? Gesso in this. And just do a whole page. And these are some of my favorite marks. But I also like to, these are big ones, but I like to do small ones as well. And you can just do some on your white paper as well. Probably don't have any here, but I do have some old leftover bits of document I could do things on. Oh, and I had newspaper print paper. I like working on that one too, but I didn't bring any of that up. Oh, and packaging paper. So all kinds of substrates you can use. So these are not ne these are not botanical, obviously. Paintings. I'm not a, you know, like an artist as such. The paint, I, the paint so many flowers, but I will do simple things. But these can be go behind the flowers that you put in your journal. Right, that's that one. Um, just put some marks on here just to clean off my brush, swoosh it over. And then you have you don't dirty your water so much. Okay. Right. I need to tuck this in. Just tuck it in like that. Okay. What's next? So I've got this piece of vellum. Let's see how the vellum goes. I might tear it down because I don't need I can do a variety of things on the vellum. We don't have to all do all paint either. I might pull out the, the alcohol markers. I'm just going to do a little piece so we don't like I don't take too long doing patterns. So now on this one, I think I want to do stripes. I might use this lighter blue, slightly lighter blue than the other one. Another color that I absolutely love. See, how it's, it spurts when you close it, so that's why I'm being very careful. I think I'm going to do stripes. So you've got to put your paper whichever way is most comfortable. And one of the th secrets I find with stripes is, you know, or lines, I should say, is, and my aunt taught me this, is you put your pinky, you rest your pinky, and 
don't you don't lift your brush so make sure you've got enough of paint on there and just drag it across you can do some thicker you can do some thinner I'll probably make it some can go lighter there's enough paint on here so for me it's it's easier pulling it toward me but for you it might be going in a different direction And this is wonderful, it'll be a bit like Foshi. Um, you could even put some tape on behind as we've done before. And and then you can, oh, it will curl. But I think, I'm not putting the too thick a paint, or oh, there is a bit of thick paint in some parts. Maybe if I put some washi down, that would, would have been better. Yes, let's do that. I've got some washi here. I'll just put a little bit of washi on it so it doesn't curl up. Actually, I might tape it to a piece of paper. I'm going to tape it to this piece of paper so that way I can leave it on there. I should have done this first. I can leave it on there until it dries. There we go. That'll work. And I'll just put a tiny piece at the end here. It's like I shouldn't be using this this washi because it's like one of my favorites but anyway just tape it to the paper okay problem solved note to self tape to paper they can go closer together they can go further apart I wish I had some tracing paper I've run out of tracing paper I need to go and get some I prefer that to the vellum because it's thinner. We don't want them perfect. If you want them perfect, you have to use your ruler. But you'll see when you tear off little bits and use it, they are fabulous. I'm trying to go as fast as I can so you're not I mean, it's pretty relaxing, but I don't want you to have to sit here and watch, you know, such long amounts of one thing. I mean, we I don't know. It is, it is time consuming. Like you don't, it's not like instantaneous. You don't get it done in a flash. I'll even go over the washi. It doesn't matter. Okay. So we can put that aside. It won't curl because we've taped it and that can dry. Let's grab another bit of vellum and I will tape it to another... And still use my blue. And I was thinking I might do a leafy sort of pattern. So I will tape it. What will I just tape it to a scrappy piece of one of my glue pieces of paper? And I might grab, I should have a tape flying around here that I don't like as much, but can't seem to find it. Um, I have some in my Christmas ones that I don't tend to use very often. Oh yes, this one with the fox or that orange one, I would never use that. It's just not me. So let's take this. In fact, I've never, this came in one of those, um, what was it called? Creative Studio? No, I don't know. They used to send out the thing when I fancied doing Project Life, but I could not do paper crafting to save my life. And I collected up all this stuff that I never used that I didn't really want. Okay, so now we're going to do, a, we are going to do a little bit of a, a leafy botanical sort of thingy-majiggy here. So I might do, um, press down and, I'm not very good at this, I sort of have to wing it a little bit. Sometimes I just have to, you know, sort of fudge it. And these, you, I mean, if you were to do these sort of more regular, you could fussy cut them out as well and put, see, look at that, I'll fudge that one. You don't get those ni that nice sort of shading as much if you have to fudge it. This brush is probably too big, but I'm actually quite enjoying it. So I might do these sort of standing in a row like this there we go and then I 
going to have one coming out a bit more like that because otherwise they're all too regular. I think I'm going to do them sort of all vertical. So that way, I should have done this one first because I'm a lefty. I'm going to get my hand in it. Um, I can fussy cut them out. And then we'll change colour. Well, no, I'll finish off my blue first, but then we'll change colour. See how I fudge it? <laughs> um, just, see, just rest your finger down to give you support. Okay, that's not the best, but anyway, do we care? And then here, I might do them just without the pointy bit. Just use the, the fat bit, you know, the body of your brush. So much fun. I mean, as long as you don't worry about being all perfect. I mean, I don't. Look at that. It's pretty messy at times. And then down here, just to fill it in, I think I'll just do some little mark. I love these. These I just love um, ripping up and putting on things. These little ones. I right, I will sit here and do multiple of these in multiple colours. And then I put them in boxes in colours. So I have blues, greens, yellows, beiges. I didn't go over the washi there. I could probably do another row, but I don't want to go too close. So that's those. There's another idea. Um, it's I. It, I think the thing about it is having ideas. Ideas are hard to sometimes find. I don't know why I'm washing that. What can we do next? Um, got tissue paper. I have all these random little bits of paper too. These need something on them. So let's see, oh, what about if we use a bit of, let's see what this does. Not much. Oh yes, I like that. That's going to be very nice put behind something. This is, what do you call these, a stippling sort of, you know, the ones for, what are they called? I did get paint on me. Oh dear. I knew it. I knew I would. Silly woman. Silly woman. Okay. I like that. Let's see. I need more paint. Why is it not going on? So you just muck around. I just muck around with it. See what happens. Might add another colour. Now that we've used up the, the blue. Let's do a bit of dry brushing there. Do a bit of dry brushing on here. Get the colour out. Give that a wash. need a better wash okay so let's do some give it a shake green do I I'm just wondering to myself do I want to um, add anything any um, what's it called I could add that color what's that one I don't know where these came from 
where I get those? I've never used those. I like this colour. Is it? Has it even been opened ever? Yes. I don't know where it came from. Folk art. I don't think that we we can. I don't know. I must have bought it here because I wouldn't have brought it brought it from Australia. Oh, it's a, it's a funny texture too. Um, do I want to change my brush? I use this one. Oh yes, it's not very good. It must be old. I must have had it from somewhere. Um, and just remember, you know, these are things that you're not going to use whole. You're just going to um, rip them up, cover them a little bit. As I said, just have fun with it. I'm not an expert. I just like doing it. And then I like the look. Okay. I think that's even might be. Why am I washing that? I'm going to use it again. It's just automatic. You just wash it. That probably is more dry down there now. Into this one. You can even mix it in with your blue and get a different colour. Mm, that's an awkward one to do, but I'll do it. I really like, do like painting on these vintage papers. A little bit more blue in there. Sometimes I'll just do half with a pattern and then I'll do the other half with something else. More blue in there so we can have a color change. And my brush is a bit stiff, it's not wanting to swirl around in a circle, so I have to do it like this. And the other part I'm going to do just with. Because it's such a little piece of paper, I don't really need to rest my hand. A little bit more blue. Put that aside to dry. might add I might now add because I didn't like that gray I think I might throw it out because it's not a nice texture I'm just going to add if I can oh, I'll pick up a little bit of gesso and now I use that as my white so I want to change my color up a little bit I'm going to do it all over pattern. This is not the best brush. I might change my brush, but we'll see how we go. I'm going to do it all over. Leafy, blobby, leafy sort of thing. And then you, you have to turn your paper around as you go to change direction. It's getting stuck. One in there. Um, Do 
bit more water. And I also twirl my brush around in the paint because it kind of um, helps remove the excess. Won't you get excess paint sometimes? I feel like it sort of evens it out a little bit in the in the brush. So I have one coming up like this, a nice long one. And I just try to fill in the, the spaces, place them so that they fill in the gaps. I mean, it would take forever to do all the different types of mark making that you can do. And then I tend to hoard them because I like them. Okay. Right, what will we paint next? I might just, I'm going to change colour. I'm going to swoosh a whole lot of paint on here. Get rid of that one, and I need a bigger brush. I'll use this brush for the swooshing. I'd add a bit more gesso. Get really nice colours, and just and don't mix them in. Properly, so then you get all different sort of shades and pop over there into the blue, which is still working, not dried out completely. And then that will be a starting point for something else. I'm just going to put that aside that can be just be used in collage okay so we're just going to take this off how long have I been here for 28 minutes that's all right we can do a bit more I'll just fold this over and put that in the rubbish and I'm even liking the look of this underneath now what else oh we've got some tissue paper here let's just grab a piece of this now this is meant to be i bought i ran out of tracing paper and on amazon i had bought a nice big piece but this is like it's this type of tracing paper it's not it's not um don't lose that piece i like that piece looks like it's being splattered um it's not um, like my, you know, the vellum tracing paper, looking tracing papers. But anyway, it's a bit like tissue paper, so we'll use it. I don't like that colour. It doesn't work. Get rid of it. Um, let's have a look at this colour here. Just give it a shape because I haven't used them for a while. I haven't been doing much in the painting world. I don't know how this paper is going to go. It might struggle. We'll just start off with something simple just to see how it fares. Oh, yes, it's going to be great. And then when you glue it down, it's going to 
go transparent. Let's just come over here and put a few over here as well while I'm at it. So I would literally sit and do that whole sheet with the little dashes. I won't do this whole sheet with dashes. Obviously, you'll all fall asleep watching the dashes happen. Now, somewhere in my box here next to me, I have I have some, where is it? Where did I put it in this one? There. I love this. This is like in Italy you use this to um you use it to um close the wine if you can't get the cork back in. And we have lots of them, so I um took one, swoosh it around in my paint. Look at that. How cool is that? Love it. Oh, might do some over there. Go off beyond your page. Okay. Spin that around in the damp napkin okay and then um, what else do I have in here oh I got this thing let's see what this thing does cool this is some sort of pastry brush that's really cool Love that. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, look, you can... Oh, that's really cool. We've got to do that. Um, but I've also... Do I have any fluorescent pink left? Do I? Do I? Oh, a tiny bit. I love this colour. And... We could get a, do I have any? Ah, that's the million dollar question. I don't have any. So what can I use? Let's see if the, I can use the end of the toothbrush. Well, maybe I'll go like this. Spread it a little bit. I've got more on my hand than I have on the paper. Oh, I'll just leave it. Let's go like this. Please don't get on me. Okay, now we'll leave that because you can come back and put more on. I like the tissue paper. I'll have to do more tissue paper. Tissue paper is good. That's all dry now, so I can put that on there. So it dries quite quickly in most cases because this one's still drying. Or is that dry? Nearly dry. 
Um, it dries quite quickly because you're not putting on the paint too thick. That's very old. Let's just grab a more vintagey sort of paper. I don't want to paint on the super old papers. Well, this one's 1800s, but it's not like that. Other one's a bit raggy, so I prefer to keep that now. Let's do a little bit of... So just play around with all the different things that you can find around the place. I think I bought this for two euro or something or one euro or something like that. It was on sale. But see what you can find even at home. Oh, this is cool. Go do some fluoro pink dots. Oh, there it is there, one of my favourite colours, this one. I love this colour. Let's put some of this on. Oops, I went into the pink. Just slowly do a bit more until you do you like it. Then you might not like it, but then when you tear a little piece off, um, it's great. Okay, I mean it's a hot mess. It really is a hot mess, and I've washed my brush without going onto my undersheet. But anyway, that one will take a little bit longer to dry. Um, it's a paint pen. I don't want to add ink to anything. Okay. Um, so we have another piece here. And I might grab this paint and just put some water in it. Nice page just to add. Hinge it and add it to the journal that aside to dry. I did have a large stock of those and then I sort of ran out of them. Can't waste my hot pink. I'm glad I didn't throw these away. And sometimes these vintage sort of, and also I tell you what else is good to paint on is, um, is what's it called? Um, ledger paper. Occasionally it's happened to me that like it's got some sort of oil on it and so the, the, the color is sort of, re is rejected. It doesn't sort of sits on top and curls away, if you know what I mean, like, you know, on like on a feather. But generally, it's quite good to paint on. Okay. 
you can see how these little under sheets just they just slowly build up and then you pull out little bits and pieces put that away i'm running out of spaces over here to put my bits uh, we'll do another tiny bit of something and then just to finish off the pink Will I do? Um, where is that? I had this. I could do circles. Oh, I have another one. This is another. This is another. Actually, I'll do. I'll do some more tissue. I like the tissue. Not the paper. The tissue. And this tissue seems to have a. A shiny side and a matte side so I'm using the matte side but you can get uh, this is another I don't know for oil or something like that but it does cool marks might need some more pink Let's see how far I can go just twirl it around and it makes the marks um, I'm going to oh I might do a bit of this color I don't think I've ever used this one let's have a look oh I have mix it in with the pink that's nice Makes the nicest colour mixed in with the pink. So you can see you can just play with a couple of colours, do a whole lot of different types of marks and things, and then you do another session in another colour. So you get a whole variety. Just got to use up my paint. And then the next thing I might color I might use on here is this one. Isn't that pretty and then that can when it's dry you can rip it up and use it in collaging so what I might do is pause the video I might just come back and do we'll do one tag or journal card using something that you created that you can put in a, a botanical journal or any journal really but the theme is botanical for this collaboration so I'll save it botanical but honestly you can use them for anything. I might not, I might run out of paint here. Paint my ruler as well. Running out of blue. So you know what? I'll go back. And yes, I've got a bit of this one left. I could do that and continue on with that one to finish the page.
but I also think like letting your colors sort of mix into each other makes it all sort of work together. And there we go, done. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna tidy up my mess, and we're gonna make one tag or journal card. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm back. I've just been waiting for the paint to dry. It's not all dry. And I just mucked around with the Ohuhu alcohol markers and just did some scribble and mark making on vellum. I did a little bit on the paper. It does come through on the paper, but it doesn't go through on that. I did some on tissue paper. It did go through, so I put some paper underneath and again on the vellum just while I was waiting. So we can do a tag or two. And these tags are... Um, they're from AliExpress. Now someone said, can I link? I can't link AliExpress because... Um, let me use this plain one. Um, because I bought them ages ago and they're not always available and there's no point. So I don't, I'm not going to link it. You just have to, you're going to have to spend the time on AliExpress searching for things and finding them because um, quite often by the time I would share it with you um, and I did buy these quite a long time ago now, I would even say more than a year ago. Um, they're not available anymore. They sell out really quickly because as we all know, people purchase the things on AliExpress and then they resell them in their shops. So, and that's quite a big business because, you know, some people don't want to wait for the AliExpress to arrive and they prefer to buy from someone who's already, I've got to look at, there's a big blob of glue in there. So they prefer to, you know, buy it from someone who's already purchased it and it's already arrived in the US or in Australia or wherever and um, and so they're reselling these things and they do it's very hard to find stock of them so we'll just do two because it's very long video but we had to do the mark making but then I need to show you what to do with the mark making okay so it's botanical so we'll do botanical I'm just going to cut this off and these ones were, I, I know some of you ladies have already bought these. They were, um, you know, not cardstock. Um, so, yep, I just reinforced them by backing them with something else. Okay, let's cut these out. I won't be able to use all my papers because um, obviously they're not all dry. Cutting the card, the tag as well. Okay, making a mess. More messy than the than the painting. Okay. Right. Got my two tags, and we need something botanical. Uh, so let's go flowers. So on one, oh, there's those little butterflies left from yesterday. We'll do one with that flower. Let's just choose our flowers first. That's something, I'm not going to do too purple. We'll do one with that flower. Okay. It's very simple. What we can do then is I've got this here. Did I paint them? Yes, I painted that one. Um... This is dry. See, that's going to, I like the look of that too. Well, maybe let's put a little bit of book page. So this is the old book page that I decided not to paint. And I'm glad I didn't. Look, I can't even rip it. It's rag paper. So let's have a bit of book page. And it's a modern tag. It's a modern looking tag, but we, you know, it's got a bit of old book page it's going to have. And then it's going to have modern mark making. So it's a bit of a mishmash, but I like the clashy look. this down over here because I like the grid I don't want to cover the grid and I'm thinking I did like some of this and I like it with the pop of the pink so you just tear it oh I've got paint on me again it must be a bit wet somewhere um, and I might put that up there let's just glue it on I'm not going to fuss about too much because we've been here forever it's a forever video.
Look how that looks transparent. Love that. And we're going to put that there. Oh, I love that. Do we want, do we want, the million dollar question, do we want um, a bit of dark blue? Is this what we want? Let's just have a look. Oops, it's sticking. I'm just going to tear a little piece. I might put that one under that one. You want that? I don't mind that, but no, I'm going to put it on this one, I think. So you can just see what fun you can have with digital mark making bits. And how you can incorporate them into a botanical journal. And you can even do collaging on your pages with them. You can make clusters, you can do anything that you like. Very simple. I'm going to snip my corners. That one's done. I'm going to leave that little overhanging bit. And I'll probably come back with the European punch. And I could add a label there if I wanted to. Now I'm liking the look of this, these colours together. Now let's just see where do I want to put it. Because that flower, no, I want, I want it down here, I think. Put the flower up a bit higher. But we do need something else. I don't think I'm going to have the two rows. Oh, I quite like that. Let's go down the blue. I need to do more of this. I really like that. I can't remember what I did with it. I'm going to put that there, up a bit higher there. We need something else. We might need a little bit of book page. Book page is always good. When you're stuck, stick down a piece of book page and then go from there. I think I'm going to put that there. Okay, let's do that. See what happens. So I'm using my mark making in the background to, to help create a, a nice looking, or what I think is a nice looking background. That one there, this one on the side there. our flower over the top. Be careful with this one, I might rip bits off. Could do birds, you could do butterflies, whatever you like. I have put them my mark making behind Renaissance images. I love it. Look at that and see. I like that because the flower's a bit more over onto this side. Let me grab my card because my fingers are sticky. I'll trim off the excess. just create a little interesting background for that botanical so I could do more I think I'll stop um, oh I know I wanted to punch that I like it more when I punch this and there we go there's our two botanical tags made with our mark making and again you could add a, a you know like a nice tracy fox label one of her botanical sort of ones and then you've completed it and then the reverse side is just vintage paper for writing so i hope you enjoyed that um, i'll put some photographs at the end of the video and have some fun mark making and don't worry too much about what it looks like because as i said you just use a little piece i mean that looks like this looks like a hot mess but then i just put a little piece behind there and i just really like it so there we go. So thank you so much for watching and thank you to Rach and Bella so much for organising such a fun challenge. And um, yeah, I hope you got something out of it and I will see you again soon. Bye.